what the salvage teams don't know is whether that cargo has shifted and if it has and there could be several hundred if not a thousand cars on there if that has happened and the weight is uh, helping to keep the ship on that bank then that is a real problem the other thing you see from here is the size of the vessel and the hazards facing the rescue teams last night we've got some pictures taken by the rnli during that operation to get those 25 crew members off fortunately the weather was calm last night but nevertheless because of the size of the vessel and the drop to the water they had to be quite quick and quite careful in ensuring that nobody got hurt fortunately there were no major injuries everyone was off safe and sound but now the headache really starts how do you move this massive vessel off a sandbank and also the other question of course is how did it come to be there in the first place its course out of Southampton should have taken it round the end of the bank away to my left and uh, then turn left again and out to the open sea but somehow after it's made that turn it's veered off course